I'm going to show you how to create a rag doll inside of Motion Builder and also how to set up a basic motion capture. Something here. like this, very similar. Okay. So, first thing in here, I'm inside of Motion Builder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in Argor right here, the character. Hit no animation. Then I'm going to drag in Mia. Have no animation. And then inside of here, you can see we need to add a control rig to Argor. FK. In order to Right all to work, you have to have the control rig. So next thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do physical properties right here. And I'm going to take the ragdoll. Drop it on top of Agor. And score this down. I'm going to rename this to ARG. And then I'm going to Mia. Drag top me right here, and then I'll rename this one to me. Yeah. So let's go back to uh, right all ARG. So, what you want to do now is we want to hit create and create this bounty boxes around our gourd. And since he's the one is going to receive the punch. We are going to set reset this to the one active at collision. Right, update, and then from Mia, we're going to change this to passive. She's the one is the one is doing the punch. Doing that. Oops, I forgot to hit create, <laughs> and now I hit apply update. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I like to hide these on the boxes. I mean, I could hit control A and do that, but they will pop up again. So I'll grab here the Argor, the APRX and grab this, whoops, this one, hold on shit here, right click, select branch. So now all of them are selected, go into groups and then hit create and hide them like that. So the next thing we want to go into the story and we want to add two character tracks. So I'm by hitting here, right click, insert character animation track. Do one more. Do a, a, a create animation track. Then here for the first one, let's choose Argor. And the next one, let me choose Mia. So we're gonna go back here to the asset browser tutorials and I'm going to choose this motion capture data drop it top of timeline like that then let's go back into the here this comes with motion builder existing mocap we install it I'm going to choose um, let's do jog straight here a little bit different from walking, like that, so like that. Now you can see. Do, 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 do. All right. So now, I'm going to select hit the eye control. We can see the direction they're going. Do that. So I have Mia right here. I'm sorry, I lied. Mia here. Make sure you select her track. I'm just going to face it like that. All right. So now we have to time it. Uh, she goes right there. That's a punch. The truck. And grab this and bring it back here. Somewhere around there. All right. So now let's try to line up the punch here. Let's grab me as make sure you click the animation, not this. Grab here, then we could move her. I'm going to hit Control-A to hide it. 
Uh, that looks like uh, right there. Okay. Now we'll hit uh, right there. That's good. All right. Let's see here how it looks like. All right. So then also let's like, extend the time track here by grabbing the little triangles and pull it out to about 300 so now let's see how this looks like all right there he's coming jogging I, i'm going to get you she's like no you're not boom all right so the next thing here what we need to do is you want to bring out of the storyboard do that as you can see when i click this uh they're not the keys are not um applied to the skeleton yet. so i'm going to go in here select both tracks Right click and plot whole scene to current take. And hit plot. All right, now you can, if you turn this off here, you can see it's working. All right, so the next thing here we have to do now is add a solver. All right, I'll rewind it and go into solvers. And we want to add a physical solver. All you have to do is drag in here, let go. And then go into Navigator at the bottom here. Choose the physical thing. And now let's see if it works. To in order to work, turn on online and live. And hit reset. And I hit play. Here he comes. Just like, all right, all right, all right. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Boom. Okay, that looks pretty good. Hit reset. And let's try one more time. Right here. And that's a good one. So each time they will be different doing that. So if you want one, you can get back and forth slide like that. What you need to do is make sure the recording is set. And then in here, click this. And then it says here to overwrite or create. We're going to hit overwrite. Now hit play. Hopefully this will be a good one. Here she comes. And it's like, I'll get you. Bam. Oh, that's a nice one. Hit stop. Well, now you can see. Let's do this. Now you can see. Make sure you have to turn it off to just view it. Boom. There we go. Look from this angle here. That looks pretty good. All right, so what you can do now is this and show you how to increase the power of her doing that. All right, so what I want to do in here, I'm going to her ragdoll. Mia, and choose her ragdoll. Make sure, make sure this is off. We do changes. So we'll click this. Make sure what type is selected. And then if you go down here to the bottom here, you will see world linear velocity and world weight. I'm sorry, wide linear velocity or weight angular velocity. Uh, I'm doing that. Linear and angular. So if it changed that to maybe a three or four and four, do that. She's going to be super strong now. So I hit rewind. And you have to go back in here to the solver. And we'll click this. Oops. We'll click the solver. Click online like this. And now hit play. She's going to be super strong. Probably the guy's going to fall way out here. Oh, he bounced. <laughs> Doing that. So and then the question is how do you bring this into Maya? Well, Let's do this one more time. Let's hit recording and hit this record. And what we're going to do is hit create this time. Yes. So now you set hit play. Coming. Boom. OK. So now we're going to turn that off Hit rewind. Like that. So if we go up here to the top right now, you know, select these right here. 
this. And just hit right click, select branches. So now all these are selected. Do that. What you do is go into file and send to Maya a new scene. And there we go. That's how you do Ragdoll in Motion Builder. And now you can set up whatever rendering engines that you'd like to use, like V-Ray, Arnold, software rendering, doing that. So, all right. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.